What's going on YouTube? Billy Rains here. How's everybody doing today? Me, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I got like a super duper late start today. I think I started at like 8 today. Um, only got one load. I need to, after work, go get my phone screen replaced because a couple days ago I slammed my phone in my in the trunk of my car which completely shattered. I'm recording on it right now. Thankfully, right this second, it's not messing up, but the screen's so smashed that sometimes it'll get like this whole haunted thing going on where it's like moving the screen. That's that's not it, okay? That's that's me getting loaded, but it, it like moves the screen around and clicks on buttons. It like tries to delete apps. Um, it tried to FaceTime random phone numbers just because the screen's cracked. So it's like, I guess the way it's cracked. So I'll touch one part like over here and it'll make something over here happen or I'll touch over here. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty technical stuff. And, and I've been making these videos for a couple days in a row. And I had one of my friends call me yesterday and ask me how small this day cab is because it doesn't even look like a day cab because... I'm taking up a lot of room in here and I'm you know I'm a I'm a big guy you know I'm not the biggest guy you know I'm like 275 like 510 around that so I'm not the biggest guy and honestly it is kind of tight and it's like I have like I have like a foot of space above my head I'm sitting on the floor if you're a 300 pound fat truck driver sit out and shut up I've got like three four inches between me and the me and the steering wheel here let me Got like three or four inches between me and the steering wheel here. So yeah, I just figured I'd address that because one of my friends who, one of the few people that watches these videos every single day made that comment to me on the phone today. I saw it was funny, so I figured I would cover it in this video. But anyway... They're loading paper, like huge paper rolls. That's why it's moving so much. Looks like an earthquake, though. A anyway, that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here for the title of the video. So apparently, down at the border, there are trucks waiting up to 24 hours to get across the border. Because apparently, the Texas Department of Public Safety is doing a one hundred percent inspection on all trucks crossing the veterans international bridge in brownsville texas now i get it this doesn't really pertain to anybody i don't think but i don't know maybe they do i don't think anybody that watches me crosses the crosses the border for work every day but if you do hola buenos dias excelente e too uh, just a little Spanish here for those, uh, if I have anybody watching who's Spanish. Uh, tu es muy bonita. Hmm. Donde esta la biblioteca? Hmm. Hmm. Como se dice, Billy is awesome. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's kind of dumb. Oh, before I forget about it, hey, I'm going to put a picture right in front of me right here. So... I was cruising Bonehead Trucker's Facebook page, and I seen this picture of this guy who tipped ten dollars for his uh, for his I guess the shower he used. He he tipped ten dollars because they did you know for cleaning the bathroom, right? And a lot of the comments were saying that this was fake, that he probably did it for clout or for a picture. And then he probably grabbed the $10 and left. Um, down below, let me know in the comments section, what do you guys think? you think that this is kind of just a cheap way to get attention? Do you think that this is something that people should be doing? I don't take showers at truck stops anymore. Uh, when I did, you know, I was just a lowly uh, company driver who didn't make a ton of money, so I didn't tip all the time. But, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this picture? Also down in the comments, let me know what you guys think 
about this Texas border crossing 100% check. Do you think that this is like overstepping their bounds? Because you're making trucks wait 24 hours to cross the border. What's that doing to appointment times? What's that doing to the supply chain? Let me know down in the comments. Also, maybe let me know if you think this is a good thing because we've all, I mean, not all of us, but some of us have been down to the border, down to Laredo and Brownsville and um, all these other places, Yuma, different places, right? And we see some of these trucks coming across the border. And maybe, just maybe, these trucks do need to be getting checked a little bit, a little bit, because a lot of these trucks, they look like they're something out of Mad Max held together with duct tape and chicken wire, right? So maybe, maybe it's not, I think that's where I'm gonna land. I think that's where I'm gonna land on it with my opinion is. I think that this is a good thing. I think that these trucks coming in out of Mexico need to be held to the same standards trucks going into mexico need to be held to the same standards another thing i really i fucking hate about laredo is you guys ever park down there and then like not park you, you like drop a trailer and then you notice how hard it is to find a trailer with those little rubber things on the glad hands right let me see if you can see those things down there you, you know they'll take the rubber seals off of those you guys ever have that problem down there in laredo i used to hate that hate that i think it's a good thing i think it's a good thing to be holding all these trucks to the same standards that they expect us to to find why why should we be the only ones i mean it does suck that it's holding things down for up to a day down there but honestly if it's that bad, it probably needed to happen. And it's only it's only through the end of the weekend. So it's not something that's going to be happening forever. It's something that's going to last through the weekend, and then it's going to be over. And then we can all, I mean, I was going to say we can all move on with our lives. But honestly, at the end of the day, this doesn't really affect most of us, right? So I wish everybody luck out there on these DOT blitzes and inspections and all this stuff. I wish everybody the best of luck. Do your pre-trips. Uh, make sure nothing's falling apart. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.